My name is Sarah Martinez, and this is week four problem solving video. This is my ID number. All right, so this is my week four. The question asks, during a lab experiment performed at STP conditions, you prepare hydrochloric acid by reacting 100 ml of chlorine gas with an excess of hydrogen gas. How many mLs of a solution of barium hydroxide 0.23 m do you need to neutralize all of the hydrochloric acid produced? Okay, so for step one, we're going to find out how many moles of hydrochloric acid is produced so that we can neutralize. So our first step is going to be balancing the equation. So the balanced equation is going to be H2 plus Cl2 equals 2HCl. So now we need to find out how many moles of chlorine gas was used so then we can find out how many moles of hydrogen um, hydrochloric acid is used or produced I'm sorry so Av Avogadro's law specifies that the volume of one mole of any gas at STP is 22.4 L so we're gonna put at whoa at STP, well, this is capitalized, sorry, STP, one mole of Cl2, which is a gas, will occupy A volume of 22.4 liters. Okay, so if we had this converted into milliliters, we're going, it's going to look like this 22400 ml of Cl2. And that equals one mole of Cl2. So if, if this equals one mole, 100 mLs of Cl2 would equal 100 over ml. We're just converting this down to um, how many moles of Cl2 is used. So after we do this, my phone is right here, sorry. Um, this conversion, or math, math problem, sorry. We're going to divide 100, 100, divided by 22400 zero, zero. and we have so we have I'm going to write the number down first and then we're going to write it in scientific notation so we have 0 0.0046 and that also changes into Four point. Um, I'm sorry. Four. I'm sorry. I wrote that number down wrong. Let's erase that. It's four four six, and this changes into four point four six times ten to the negative three mole. Okay. So now we figured out how many moles of chlorine gas is used. Our next step 
is to figure out how much of hydrochloric acid is being produced. So we're going to do a mole ratio. So kind of make another step here. This is step two. We're going to say the mole of Cl2 used is 4.46 times 10 to the negative third. So one mole of Cl2 will produce 2 moles of HCl. And the coefficients of a balanced chemical equation will be used to generate these mole ratios. So the mole of HCl, hydrochloric acid produced, will be 2 will equal, sorry, this is equal to 2 times 4.46 times 10 to the negative third. And that's the mole. All right. So now we know how many moles Cl2 is being used and how many moles of HCl is being, well, produced. Okay. That's covering that. Now we're going to move on to step three, which is the neutralization reaction of barium chloride. <laughs> well, not just of barium chloride, but I'm going to keep going because I got room, but I'm trying to make it. So, okay. Kind of make a line here. I might have to erase though. So the neutralization reaction. is going to be BaOH2 plus 2HCl equals Okay, because the, the question asks how many mLs asking for a volume of a solution of barium hydroxide, do you need to neutralize all of the hydrochloric acid that is produced? Okay, so now we need to figure out the mole of BaOH2. Um, okay. Sorry, I lost where I put, okay, needed, needed to neutralize all of the hydrochloric acid produced. Okay, so that equation is going to be, sorry, okay. 2, it's going to be, this is the mole of HCl, so 2 times 4.46 times 10, negative third, I don't want my screen to go black, okay. That is the mole of HCl, that is what we're neutralizing, over two moles HCl. So, sorry, I wrote something off to the side here. I'm trying to figure out. Um, one mole of, I think I need to erase and so I can have more room. So let's start. My whiteboard is not big enough. All right, let's go back 
over here. So I got one mole CaOH2 times Two and that's mole of HCl over two mole HCl. Okay. So yeah, I'm sorry, I forgot to add. So we're gonna um, neutralize. Um, the hydrochloric acid. So going, because I scribbled out so much stuff. Okay, so this, um, this essentially, a lot of this cancels out and it ends up being, so like this um, and the two. So it ends up being one times this. So four, Point four six times ten to the negative third, and that is the mole of B A. Okay. So now the concentration it says in the question um, of the barium hydroxide is zero point two three m. So going back to our molarity. So molarity, M-O-L-A-R-I-T-Y, it equals the mole of the solute over the liters of solute. Um, so we're going to put, we already know that value. So it is 0 0.23 M or 230 M. Um, is the concentration of okay because that was stated earlier in the question so this would that you can also write this as 0 0.230 mole over liter. Um, so the volume of barium hydroxide needed would be the mole over the concentration. So it is 4.46 times 10 to the negative third mole over 0 0.230 mole over mole over a liter. So the moles cancel out and so let's do that on our calculator. So we have 4.46 times 10 to the negative 3 divided by zero point two three. Zero. And we get, um, again, this is really hard to see because, but it is zero. I'll just put an equal sign here. Zero point zero one nine three nine one three. And so I rounded this up to equal 0 0.01940 liters. Remember that it's in liters. So the question asks for how many ml. So all we have to do now is convert this into mls. So 0 0.01940 L times 1000 ml over L1 L and that equals 19.4 ml um, and this is BaOH2 so how many the question says how many mls of a solution 
of barium hydroxide do you need to neutralize all of the hydrochloric acid produced? And my answer is 19.4 milliliters of barium hydroxide. Thank you.